it's now time to code your first DAG using Apache Airflow. But before we get started, let me introduce you what we're gonna create. The purpose of this DAG is to show you a typical ETL process which can be automated using Apache Airflow and Twitter. For simplicity, I'm not going to fetch data from the Twitter API, but if you want it, let me know. The DAG is composed of four tasks, which are fetching and cleaning tweets, uploading tweets into HDFS, and loading those data into Hive. For those who have never coded before, no worry, I will explain everything and the files which are not directly related to Apache Airflow will be provided. Let's go back to our terminal. You're gonna need to have three sessions connected to the VM for clarity purpose. One for the web server, one for the scheduler, and the last one for coding. In order to open our first session, you type ssh-p2200 airflow at localhost, enter, airflow as password, enter, and you are connected. If you didn't shut down your VM, you don't need to start HDFS, Hive, Presto and Spark, as they are already running. Otherwise, go to section 1, where you will find the instructions to run everything in the development environment video. Now we activate the Python virtual environment. And you do exactly the same process for the other two sessions. So you should have your three sessions connected with the Python virtual environment activated as shown by the dot sandbox. In the first terminal, we start the web server, our flow web server. And in the second terminal, we start the scheduler. Go to the third session, copy the file twitter.v1.py into DAX folders of Airflow and open it with VI or an editor of your choice. So here is basically what a DAG looks like without any task or dependency. The first two lines import Python dependencies to be able to instantiate a DAG object and manipulate date easily with functions such as date, time delta, and that time. Then we have the dictionary, which would be used as default arguments for all tasks. It is composed of different properties, such as the owner, depends on past, retries, and retry delay. The two last properties are respectively used to retry a number of times a task that has failed every retry delay. For example, in our DAG, a failed task will be retried one time after one minute. The last line of our DAG is where the DAG is actually instantiated. With is a special Python keyword to work with unmanaged resources to ensure that everything is cleaned up when the code finishes to execute. In order to create the DAG object, we must specify the DAG ID, which must be unique among your DAGs not only in this file, the start date, which indicates when your DAG will be run, the schedule interval set to daily here to indicate that the DAG will be run every day, we have the default args, and a parameter named ketchup which we'll explore in the next lectures. Now let's go to the Apache Airflow user interface. And as you can see, we have our Twitter DAG v1 listed on the DAG's view. If you schedule the DAG by turning on the toggle, it will be immediately run as the start date is way more interior than the current date. Let's do this. Click here and refresh. Notice that we have one successfully executed DAG run as shown here, without any task. The execution date is equal to the 30th of November 2018, one day before the current date of the scheduler, as you can see here. If you click on Graph View, the little message box here in red tells you that no tasks are found and that's why you have no graph at all. Okay, now you know what you need to initialize the DAG, let's implement those tasks in the next lecture.